Hi, my name is Justin Schaup and I'm the founder and run our engineering team here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to review a common error that we get sometimes with customers where third-party software updates may fail to download to a deployment package within the SCCM console or using an ADR within SCCM. So just to reproduce kind of what you're most likely seeing if you're viewing this KB, we're going to go ahead and try to download a third-party update that has been published with full content. I'm going to go ahead and choose a deployment package. I'm going to choose next, leave the default download from internet, choose next, and then next here. What you're going to notice here is that you're going to get an error that says something like this within the SCCM console, invalid certificate signature. So if you get this, you're definitely on the right video. So to get a little more details about what actually happens here, if you open up the temp directory on the machine that you're running the console on, so if I just go to File Explorer and do percent temp percent, you should see a patch downloader.log. So this is the log file that Configuration Manager uses when it goes and downloads updates, whether it's Microsoft updates or whether it's downloading third-party updates from your WSUS server, this is what shows that status. So what we can see here is we got an error code uh, that ends in 0004. So if I go ahead and uh, copy that error code and do a control L in CM trace to look it up, we can see if we look up that error, it is a known error that says the subject is not trusted for the specified action. What that is essentially saying is the certificate used to sign the third party update cab file is not trusted on this machine running the SCCM console. So regardless of whether you're downloading Microsoft updates or third party updates, the uh, digital signature of that update will always get checked. Um, so what that essentially means is if we were to go and look at the actual download path, we could either get this uh, directly from the console. If we right click on the update and choose properties, we can look at the content information. You can copy it here or within the patch downloader.log, we can also see the path that uh, was being used to download that update, which should be directing to your WSUS server where you publish that update. So if I go ahead and copy that, the first thing we can kind of do here is just go ahead and download that within a browser. If we go ahead and uh, open that location that you downloaded to, and then if we go ahead and look at properties of that cab, probably the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check is the digital signature. So this should be the certificate that you created whether it's self-signed or from a certificate authority um, that's used to sign third-party updates, right? So if we look at that certificate, we can see that it is in fact not trusted. So that kind of makes sense of why the update would fail to download within the console. Now, in the event that you're using an ADR, it's gonna be very similar. So we already have an ADR configured. And if we go ahead and look at that ADR, we can see that it's returning a error code, slightly different, it ends in 417, but we can see that it's failing. Now, if you know Config Manager well, if we go ahead and look at the site server logs in our installation directory on that site server, we can look at the rule engine.log and this shows all your ADRs being processed. So if we were to look in here, the error code is slightly different. So it's saying when it tried to download that Chrome update using the ADR, it failed to download. Now to get more details, there's a patch downloader.log on the site server that shows the download process through ADRs. Now this one's gonna be slightly different. So it's not gonna be in the main logs folder within your install directory. Instead, if we go back to the root of the install directory, in my case, it was on the D drive, we're gonna to wanna to look within the CCM logs folder here. So if I go there and look at logs, you're most likely gonna find the patch downloader for ADRs within this directory. Now, if we go ahead and look here, we can see that we have that exact same error code that the certificate was not trusted for the ADR as well. So you can kind of verify both places depending on whether you're trying to download in the console or whether it's going through an automatic deployment rule. So once you've kind of identified that, hey, this uh, file is not trusted because the certificate isn't trusted, what you need to do to fix that is uh, deploy the signing certificate uh, within that you use for WSUS for code signing updates you need to deploy that to your site server in the event that you're uh, trying to download updates using an ADR, or you need to uh, install that on your client if you're running a remote console and you just want to test this scenario on that single device. Now, obviously, once you get things configured and you want to go site-wide, you probably want to use an automated method to deploy your WSUS signing certificate 
to the trusted root and trusted publishers of all your clients. But just to validate the fix for this scenario, you can just do it on your site server for ADRs or the machine that you're running your console on. So uh, the quickest method, if you're using our publishing tool, most of our customers are, you can kind of see what signing certificate that you're using to publish updates. Now, if you're using SCUP or SCCM, what you can do is you can open cert lm.msc on your WSUS server and go to the WSUS certificate node and you're most likely gonna see the certificate that you're using to publish third-party updates. So if we go ahead and look at our certificate here and we look at that thumbprint, we can just validate that it ends in 8DB. Now what we wanna do is validate that's the same certificate that was used to sign the third-party update. Now there are some scenarios where customers may have generated a new cert and they may have not installed the previous certificate as a trusted root and trusted publishers. So that could be a scenario where you'd have to install the old certificate as well if you generated a new one and the new one's trusted but the old one's not. But we can see in our case, this is in fact signed with the same cert. So we only have one certificate that we're working with in this case. Uh, so what we can do, the easiest way to test this um, is you can simply export that certificate from the certificates node. If you're using our publishing tool, you can also choose to export directly in there as well if that's easier. In our case, we'll just export here. Uh, no private key. We're going to do a .sir file, and then we're going to export that to our desktop, and we'll call it wsuscert, and then choose save, and then next, and then next, and then we'll do OK. Now, in our case, we are actually running the console on our site server, and it is, in fact, the site server on this machine as well. So our ADR would be running on this server that we're running on. Um, and in our case, we're running the console on the same machine. But in the event that your console was remote, you would simply copy that SIR file to that remote machine that you're running the console on. Or if your site server is remote from your WSUS, you would copy it and install it on the site server. Now, in order to install it, uh, what we're going to do is go to Trusted Root Certificates and then choose to Import. So we'll go ahead and Import here choose next. We're going to browse out to that .sir file. And then we'll choose OK. And if we browse down, we can, of course, see that WSUS signing certificate is now in trusted root. So that's a good first start. Um, but we also want to make sure it's in trusted publishers as well. Now, in the event that you're running on all the same servers, you do have the ability to simply come in, right click and copy the cert, and then you can simply paste it into the trusted publishers. Now, if it's on a remote machine, you would just import it just like we did when we imported it to trusted root. So now uh, at this point, the certificate should be trusted. So for example, if we come back in and look at that cab file and choose properties, we can in fact see that it is now trusted. So at this point, the console should trust it or your ADR should trust that download and you should be able to download that into a deployment package. So if I go back to my console, we can go ahead and right click on that Chrome update and choose download. We can choose browse on here, choose our package, and then choose next here. And then simply download, and we can validate that it works now. And then we can, of course, see it did in fact download. If we look at that patch downloader.log in our temp directory, we can see that the certificate was validated and it is in fact trusted, and then it downloaded perfectly fine. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or uh, use our support form on our website. Now, if you do want to go through the guide on deploying the certificate to all your clients using either the SCCM functionality to distribute it or using a GPO, we'll include references to those docs as well that you can use to deploy the certificate to all machines within your environment. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.